In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the inside low kick to set up different techniques. So, uh, the basic mechanics we covered in a previous video, but now we're going to look at um, how we can use this tool. So, basically, what I want to do when I, when I throw the, the kick is I want to kind of fake a jab before I land the kick. If I just move directly from here and kick, I'm going to be pretty open to be countered um, hard because even though it's a really fast kick, uh, techniques with the hands are always going to be faster. So your main advantage here is your range and the fact that kicking on the inside of the opponent's leg is going to mess up his stance. So it's not really a hard kick, it's not going to damage your opponent that much, but it's going to set up a ton of different things. So the main thing is just to stop your opponent from moving. So if you're fighting a guy who's like all over the place, his footwork is so fast that you can't really keep up, this is a really good technique to make him stop for a second, so you can clock him really hard with your rear hand shot. So if you take a look at the Dan Henderson, for instance, uses this very, very well. This is a huge part of his stand-up game. Basically, he just kicks the inside, uh, inside leg, and he throws a huge uh, right haymaker. Um, there's a couple different ways we can use it, but that's definitely a good option. So, again, from here, my fighting stance, I fake a jab at the same time, I throw the inside low kick here. Um, one classic way to use it would be uh, kind of a rear hook with my, my right hand. So I come in like this, boom, here, and I throw this shot here. Of course, from there you can follow up with liver shot, uh, outside low kick, whatever you want. But the basic idea is just inside low kick stops him from moving away and kind of pulls him into my rear hand shot. So I go here, boom, boom, here. The important thing here is that you're not leaning too far away from the kick. If I'm kicking like this, it's too far. It's going to take a long time before I can land this punch and the range is going to be weird. So I want to just kind of stay in my stance here and kick him without moving my upper body too far away. That also means that it's really, really important to keep my guard up. I don't want to come here because then I'm going to be much too open when I, when I end up. So keep your guard up, boom, here and here. Okay, so against the camera, it looks like this. I'm in my fighting stance, come here and I come like that. And of course I want to keep the front hand up when I throw the power shot from my, my rear side. So here, boom, boom, like that. Another option, if you land one of these, your opponent is probably going to be um, pretty wary of, of this angle. So another option would be to kick, move slightly out on a 45 degree angle and throw the straight shot with the rear hand. So it will look something like this. Like this. So I'm moving, instead of coming here, throwing this, I'm coming here and I'm throwing this. So the main thing is I want to get around his front hand here. Because he's going to try to block my shot here, he's going to try to block it here. But he can't cover both angles at the same time. If we're talking him maybe we've got very small gloves. If he's trying to, to cover the, the front line here and I'm coming around, I can catch him in the, in the neck, in the back of the head with my knuckles. And that's still going to shake him up. So that's your, your basic two um, uh, setups from the, from the inside, uh, inside low kick here. So we'll take him one last time. And then in my fighting stance here. Boom here. Come around here. Catch the opponent on the, on the kind of neck, chin area back here. I want to just really dig it in there. So even if I miss, I'm just going to clock him with my hand. Bring him over like this way, and then I can follow up from there. It's gonna knock him off balance. The other option was the straight shot. So when I do that, I want to kind of move off on a 45 degree angle. Because if I'm right here, if he knows what he's doing, this is gonna be in the way. So I can't just like catch him with a straight shot. So I'm punching here, like this. Moving a bit out here. Boom, boom, like that. Okay? So, that's your basic, um, basic setups, all for the inside low kick. If you found this useful, please take a second and uh, like this video. 
Um, if you know someone else that could benefit from this information, please share it with them. That way we're all going to get better at martial arts. Hoo-yah! Hoo